Hi guys, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you three new features that have just been released in the March 2018 version for Illustrator. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy this video. First new feature is now you can import multi-page PDFs into Illustrator. So now what you can do is you can go ahead and import and edit multi-page PDFs as separate artboards. Pretty cool. So this is especially useful, say, for designers who frequently edit PDF documents if they want to edit a style guide, for example. So now you no longer have to import PDF content one page at a time. All right, so on your Start menu, just click on File and Open and go ahead and locate your PDF file and click on Open. In this dialog box, as you can see, you have several options. You can flick through the thumbnails here to see all three pages. Otherwise, you can change the range. Or if you click on All, as you can see by default, it will check the import PDF pages as links for optimal performance. I'll just uncheck this for now and I'll just click on OK. Okay, as you can see, it has loaded the three PDFs into their own separate artboards. And then here you can just go ahead and edit each of the artboards and the individual PDFs. Next feature is now you can increase the display size of anchor points, handles, and bounding box controls. Okay, so this feature is particularly helpful if you use Illustrator in a high resolution screen, which sometimes can make those points appear really small. Or otherwise, you may be um, just one of those that just want to be able to adjust the size and just see it a bit better. Okay, so here's how you can do that. As you can see, I'm just clicking on the border here in the text. You can see the bounding box by default. It is just the size, okay? So on your Mac, you click on Illustrator CC, Preferences, and then select Selection and Anchor Display. On your Windows machine, you would just go onto the Edit menu. And then as you can see on the left-hand panel, you will see Selection and Anchor Display. And then down on the right hand side, there is a slider for anchor points, handles, and bounding box display. So as you can see, it is on the lower end of the scale. And what I'm doing is I'm just dragging it right across to the maximum size and then clicking OK. So on to our last feature, now you can data merge with CSV files. So in the past, you could only do a data merge with XML files. So Illustrator already lets you data merge to create multiple variants of designs with different text or graphics through the variables panel. So where you can find this is you can go ahead and click on Window and click on Variables. It will bring up this dialog box with the variables menu here and what I've done here is I have just gone ahead and edited the groom's name on one of the variables here so as you can see I can flick through each of my data sets. Since I have created some of my data sets here, in order to pull out the import menu, go ahead and click on the three line flyout window and then go ahead and select load variable library. As you can see, under enable, you do have 
an option for CSV now. And you can go ahead and upload your CSV file if you already have your data already prepared. And now it's just telling you whether you're going to override the current variables. So that's it. Thanks for watching. These are the three new features that have just been released this month. So go ahead and update your Illustrator CC March 2018. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks. See ya.